QEGRW100 here. Today, as you can see, we're doing an airsoft gun review of the famous from the Foreign Legions. Let's take a look at it. Magni, you know, 45 at ZB's 6 grams or 20 grams. Barrel. The gun. This is that old fashioned loading tube it comes with. Yep. Put the BBs in here, stick it in the magazine. Is this, that, and then the U2 one, take the stick, just jab right through. Nice spring sound, magazine. So, as I said again, you can do 6 grams, 6 gram BBs or 20 gram BBs. Um, it comes with a few. A package of a few rounds of BBs right here. Usually, it's all, as usual, it's always white BBs. Information about it. You really read that stuff. Um, well, not much to this gun other than it's a spring loaded. It comes with two sets of rails on it, one down here for lights, lasers, or um, anything else you can think of putting on there. Or this one has the scopes, which this one can actually be taken out. Same as, I guess it's the bottom one, take out screws maybe. Yeah, this can be taken out. I usually leave it in there for using it as a sight area. So, it's very nice. This is the spring mechanism. Oh, that's that out of the way. Spring mechanism. It's right there. Once you get down to there, it gets kind of hard to cock. You're about my age. Um, yeah, the magazine. This is the loading. The unloading, loading. Magazine clip thing right here. It, I, think the, I think the camera's a little off, so take them out right there. There, it's made in China. That's normal. See everything. Uh, swing goes right there. Left hand and right hand users, which is a really good thing. These these swing clips right here. You actually have to put them on when it, you get the gun. When you open it, they're not going to be on there. There's going to be holes in there, or gaps, where you take these clips, which are going to be underneath the barrel socket in the package. Just snap them in, put the sling on, and you're still looking for the sling I had. So. Yeah, adjustable front size. So I think these ones are kind of dumb. And rear sight. There is a hole down here, which is for the sight. Goes right down there, and looks at that stud right up there. The way it's adjustable is it goes up and down. Come on. Right there. Looks so like the semi. It keeps going down, so I usually just keep it down and use the rail hole as a sight area. Um, magazine, put that back in, phone, it has a hop up, which is right under that needs this whole thing, take, take that off, it's right there, come on, it's kind of hard to see from that area. You. 
pop up. Um, it's not a fixed pop up then, so I'll fix that. Sorry, I just got some kind of thing on my gun. Um, yeah, it can be that little thing can be taken off and put on either side, but I suggest you put it on the hop up side for the reason that this would be shown on time. Take it. You're a very stink snap. Yeah, it's very nice. I'm planning on getting a fully automatic Thompson, maybe. So, if any of you think that's, that would be a good idea, just comment and, yeah. So, as I said again, it's not clear when you get this one. Which, in my opinion, clear guns are never a good idea. Even CO2 or green gas pistols that are clear. Which, they do have those. For those of you who do not know. Um, yeah. I suggest you get a non-clear one. Although that you might have a bigger orange tip than a clear gun. Yeah. Other than that, it's pretty nice. This gun. Down for unload magazine is like this. And here's the safety, which is pretty weird. Just like right in front of the trigger. So the little kids can't really get to it. And I'm older than ten, but younger than eighteen, yeah, I know. Um I got this for naturally for Halloween. I was a military soldier. So I ended up getting this, that's like to top off the <laughs> military soldier thing. Um and it was supposed to be taken back to the Big Five, which is where I got it from the day after Halloween. I ended up keeping it though. <laughs> so, yeah. Overall, though, I'd give this, uh, so much, uh, 8 out of 10. Not over. 8 over 10, 8.5. Um, accuracy, it's pretty good. Um,. Just don't use this gun if you're in a, like, fully automatic and spring or something battle. Mostly because it's just a spring. If someone has a fully automatic gun, you have a spring, cocking it. If someone comes up behind you with a fully automatic gun, just blows your head off. But, hell, it's not really bullets or anything. Right? Yeah. Really good gun. Real nice design. The magazine does kind of wobble a bit, but not too much. It's not, it doesn't really bother me that much. Huh. Doesn't really do that much. This wobbles a bit. Doesn't bother me much. Really, if something bother is bothering me, it would have to be probably if the if it jams up a lot, which so far it doesn't. It has not jammed up yet. Really good gun, A, 8, 5, 9, over 10. So, please rate and comment on the things I've told you about. And, you know, this is my first year's last game review, so, yeah. Don't really, re don't really review my things yet. So, I'm going to get in the habit of uh, planning out my videos first. Really, I just do this from board. Other than that, QETRW100 out.